The Ibethan Hound is a remarkable survivor from the days when the Egyptians ruled much of the known world. The Ibethan Hound of today is hardly different from its hunting ancestors of 5,000 years ago, and the breed is still cherished for its loyalty and companionship. Representations of dogs virtually identical to modern-day Ibethan hounds have been found in Egyptian tombs from as long ago as 3400 BC. The famous statue of Anubis from King Tut's tomb is thought to be modeled from an Ibethan hound. The Ibethan hound traveled with Phoenician traders throughout the Mediterranean. But it was on the island of Ibethan that the breed became permanently established, with its primary function there to hunt rabbits. The first Ibethans arrived in the United States in the mid-1950s, and the breed gained American Kennel Club recognition as of January 1979. You'll be seeing many Ibethan hounds during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so, but all will help your understanding of the Ibethan hound. Now, let's begin. The Ibethan Hound is a gracefully built, strongly muscled hunting dog, capable of tremendous speed and agility. The Ibethan Hound is a rangy dog with clean, fine bone and should never appear coarse or cumbersome. His large ears and oblique amber eyes give him a keen, intelligent expression. And he is known for his frisky, playful temperament. Dogs should stand between 23 and a half and 27 and a half inches at the withers. Bitches from 22 and a half to 26 inches. Body length from sternum to point of buttocks is somewhat longer than the height at the withers in both dogs and bitches. As for weight, dogs should average 50 pounds, while bitches can range between 42 and 49 pounds. Animals which are slightly over or under these ranges should not be penalized if the dog's overall type and conformation are of excellent quality. 